my gosh, I love this song. Everything is Turn signal, park between the lines, yes! Drop off dry cleaning before noon, read the headlines, don't forget to smile, always root for the local sports team, Go sports team! Always return a compliment, hey, you look nice, so, so do you. you. Drink overpriced coffee. There you go, that's $37. Wow, awesome! Hey guys, and welcome back to the new episode of Build with Chrome. So, in the last episode, we finished up building the vehicle. Um, the car, and we had the pickup truck done in the first episode. So now I'm just going to finish up building the garage. So this is just I'm just building up the walls on this side right now. Um, I'll go through and kind of tell you what my plan is. I'm going to build all the walls on each side, and then I'll go back and add a uh, door and applicable windows where they need to go. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking about this, and and uh, it probably won't. Oop, let's undo these. Uh, come on, thank you. Um, it probably won't be possible to have it such that um, you'll be able to see all of the vehicle from all of the vehicles from insi from outside the garage, but. I'll do my best, because I'm planning on putting a roof and a uh, garage door on the front. So, yeah. So anyway, um, this was, like I said in, in the first video, and I probably said in the last video as well, this is a uh, recommendation that one of my subscribers, one of you people, one of my viewers, subscribers, whatnot, decided to ask me to build. Um, and I was more than happy to do it. It was wicked fun to do. So if you guys have any more um, any more recommendations or ideas for things that you want me you want to see me build, that'd be great. And if you'd prefer, I do a uh, time lapse of it. So I do a time lapse of of the building or of whatever I'm creating, and then do a uh, shorten it to, I don't know, maybe I could do it in 5 minutes, 10 minutes, instead of these longer episodes of 25, 30 plus minutes. Um, I'd be more than happy to do that. Uh, it's really easy to do. Um, so yeah, if, if you if you prefer that, put that in, in one of the comments in the, in the bar below. Um, yeah, I'll probably go up one more level. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I've I haven't been doing too much of these on my own outside of webcasts. So if you guys have ideas, please let me know. I'm willing to do pretty much anything actually. Um and this was this was fairly creative that someone told me to build, so I was willing to take on that challenge. Um if the other thing as well is if you have ideas for something, um and you want me to do uh it, do a Lego tutorial or Lego creation of it, um, and it's from a picture of something. I'll be more than ha more than happy to do it from that. It's actually uh, kind of easier to do um, to do buildings or, or vehicles in this case, I guess, um, or anything like that from some sort of image. Um, a lot of my old old designs um, for things like the tennis courts that I did, um, or even the the TARDIS, one of the one of the buildings I've done as a TARDIS. Even those um, I did from an image, just because I wanted to get it a bit the dimensions right and and make sure it looked proportional. Um, and actually, a lot of the things that I did designs from are things that I had around my house. So, like, I did my Game Boy and, and my DS and my alarm clock and my PSP and things like that. So, yeah, if, uh, if you've got ideas, link them in the, in the description below. Because I have a lot of time that, and I love doing these sort of things. It's great fun. 
so I'd be more than happy to do that. Alrighty. I apologize also for the uh, for the subscriber or the viewer who asked me to do this. Um, I was actually going to do this a while ago, uh, but I got a bit sidetracked with things and whatnot. So I apologize that I haven't put a video up in a long time. I think probably since May, something like that. But the plan is, if if you guys have um, ideas for things, I will be glad to do them. Um, and I'll probably uh, be doing some building things and stuff like that um, probably this week. Yeah, I'll probably do some this week. Um, and there'll be time-lapse videos, so probably five, five or ten minutes. Um, so they won't have voiceovers or anything. Um, they'll have an introduction and such, but then um, they probably they won't have voiceovers. Well, I haven't decided. Maybe they'll have a, a voiceover that re that I record after the fact. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I might do some more things based on objects around my place. I've got a couple um, models of vehicles here that I could do. They c they they would be interesting to do, especially since they're um, they're detailed and whatnot. Um, or I could do other objects, like I could do. A, I guess I could attempt to do a, a TV. Um, uh, I also have my Wii and Wii U that I could do models of, or a book. That would be actually kind of fun to do, a book. Um, or my guitar, bike, stuff like that. Um, I also have a uh, psych pillow here, that I, which is in the shape of a pineapple. That would be kind of fun to do. Um, so yeah, I think I've got a list of list of stuff, but hey, uh, like I said, if you guys have any recommendations or things that you want to see me build, I will be glad to do them. Um, I'd rather do things that you want me to build than random stuff that I just happen to find around my place that I want to build. Um, so yeah, this is this is a lot of fun and. and um, yeah. So anyway, one one of the other things that I'm thinking about doing is I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart 8 lately, um, and I'm pretty good at it. I enjoy racing and whatnot, and I've completed all of the Grand Prix races, all um, all of the one, two, and oh, sorry, 50cc, 100cc, 150cc, and Mirror Mode um, races, all to the highest reward. I, uh, I think it's like three stars or something. So I've done that on all of them. But um, I am totally willing to go back and actually do them again, but do um, put uh, YouTube, because uh, you can post your videos, your lap uh, replays and whatnot to YouTube. So I might go through and start uploading them to YouTube and, and stuff. Have a, have another channel called I don't know Mario Kart Races and something like that. Um, I'll go through and do that just because I really enjoy racing and and some of the some of my lap finishes that I've had have been just crazy, unbelievable. Sneaking into first place with less than a with less than a second behind my opponent. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that eventually, um, especially since the Wii U has such an easy way of putting uh, videos together. It's really easy to put videos on YouTube. Um, well, they do, they're like race highlights. So I'll probably have a highlight reel um, each week of, of like my top five things, uh, it's my top five races from each week, and I'll upload them on, on this site as well. Um, so yeah, and yeah, if you guys uh, wanna wanna hook me up on on whatever they call it, the the Wii World, the Wii Universe, or whatever, um, my uh, login for Mario Kart and for uh, Nintendo and whatnot is Kiwi Kid, Kiwi Kid Triple Three. Let me see. I believe it's just Kiwi Kid. Um, but. Whatever it is, 
if you want to um, find me and, and we can do some racing and stuff on Mario Kart. So yeah, my uh, Nintendo Nintendo Network ID nickname or whatnot is KiwiKid333. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to race and do something like that, I'm always up for it. Just let me know. Um, I have a lot of fun at it. And some of the online play is, is really cool. Um, it gets really competitive and I've noticed that some people uh, it, it's it's crazy having more more races on the track than normal. I think the old games there were eight, and now there's well except for Mario Kart Wii, the original Wii Mario Kart game, it had twelve I believe. But yeah, having twelve online races at the same time is is pretty crazy. Um, but it's a lot of fun, and some of the items are just like wow, why, how do I, how can I use this object item more effectively, and especially with the blue shell, the bane of, of every of every Mario Kart race's existence, um, gets really annoying, but some of the, some of the objects that you can use to deflect that, like the loudspeaker object, that's actually a really cool one that they brought in, I like that one a lot, um, I think it's better than a couple of them from like Mario Kart 7, one of my least favorite from Mario Kart 7 was always the uh, the the tail. I didn't like that one too much at all. Um, so I'm glad they got rid of that. But one of the things that I don't like about Mario Kart 8 is the fact that you can't hold multiple items at the same time. Because um, I'd usually I'd u like for example if you're in first and you get like a banana skin or a green shell or something like that, and you hold it behind you, then you can usually you could usually um, grab something else, like grab another item box, and have that item at the same time. So I kind of missed that. That uh, that was kind of cool. Um, but some of the new tracks in the anti-gravity mode, freaking awesome. Probably the best Mario Kart game I think they've got out ever. So yeah, I think I think they did a really good job at it, and I look forward to the the new ones come the new um, games that are coming out for the Wii and Wii U, or the Wii U and the 3DS. Like for example, Smash Bros. I'm actually kind of excited for that. Haven't decided yet whether I'm buying the 3DS version or the uh, Wii U version. Um, maybe I'll go for both, but most likely I'll go for for one or the other, um, haven't decided yet. Then uh, those are the, that's the only real game that I'm interested in. I have uh, Super Mario Bros for the Wii U, but I haven't gotten through too many of those levels. Um, it was I don't know the, the new Super Mario Bros games just aren't as fun as as the old school ones. Like I have uh, I think I have Super. Mario Brothers Deluxe for the Game Boy. That was that was awesome. Like after you completed the the first few levels, uh, well, first few levels, the first eight worlds, and like you completed it completely, you unlocked the levels with replacing all the um, all the Koompas with like these black shell things. So you couldn't just you couldn't get rid of them just by jumping on them. Um, so that was kind of cool that they got that they replaced those and then. After that, uh, you were able to um, play all the levels as Luigi. Not that he actually played all that differently, but it was kind of cool. Um, and then there were challenge levels, and there were um, where you had to get as many of the big big coins. Well, you had to get all three big coins, um, which which were kind of like the big coins that you see in the levels nowadays, um, and find Yoshi's egg and try and get a a high score. Um, so that was kind of cool. And then there was uh, Boo Racing, where you would race different colored boos across a level. But the cool thing was, Boo could just, uh, because he's a ghost, he could just kind of fly through anything. He was taking like a, I guess you could call it the, a bird of the... Um, the most direct route, well, not quite the direct, because he, he was floating the whole time, so he would just go straight across the map, whereas you were playing as 
Mario or Luigi or whatever, and you had to um, overcome all the obstacles and, and avoid things and stuff. So that was that was really fun and interesting, and and you had different colored boos, like I think it was white, pink, blue, green, and black, and each color um, was was more more and more difficult. Like I think black was definitely the most challenging, and if you got black boo, um, it was he traveled a lot faster than like white boo did. Um, so that was kind of cool. But yeah, that's always been my my mo- my favorite Super Mario Bros. game. Like even the one for the for the DS that came out years ago for the original DS. That just wasn't as fun. I remember borrowing it from a friend and completing it in like three or four hours. I was like, okay, this isn't quite as fun. Um, and I also have the Super Mario Bros. 3D for the 3DS, which almost was like Super Mario 64, except easier and a bit better. Um, Super Mario 64 was it was fun. I, I greatly enjoyed that game a lot, but it, something about it just wasn't quite I don't know, every time you lost, you popped out of the level or the painting or whatever, and you had to start again. And finding all of the stars, like you had to find X amount of stars to come, kind of go through the levels and stuff, and I don't know, it kind of got annoying when you didn't, you could spend forever in a level trying to find the star and how to get to it and things like that. Um, So I didn't enjoy that one too much, um, but I did enjoy the the uh the new one um the uh, Super Mario 3D that was always a lot of fun so yeah i'm as you can tell i'm i'm a big nintendo fan i don't i don't own well besides my psp i don't really own any other console systems don't own an xbox or a or a ps playstation or anything like that I never have um but yeah, I'm definitely a Nintendo fan, and, and I really like the Wii U. Like I'm one of these, I'm one of the people who's uh, who's enjoyed it, and and I'm looking forward to the games that are coming out for it, especially Super Smash Bros. Um, mainly for the fact that it looks really cool. So yeah. Alrighty, so I'm finishing up the garage door right now, and I think I'm just about done actually. Uh, I don't really know what more I could do. So, yeah, I think that is it. That is my that is my garage, and inside are two vehicles, one truck, and one uh, car. Um, yeah. So, like I said, have any recommendations? Let me know, and I will take them into consideration. Hmm. That's a bit bothering me, the fact that they're uneven. But, yeah. This was a lot of fun to make, as always. Um, And I'm always looking looking for and looking forward to using this build with Chrome tool. I think it's one of the coolest things Chrome and Google have brought out. Very entertaining, very fun, and yeah. So I think this is it. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough. I guess I could go and put drain pipes on, but I don't think that's necessary. So I'm going to publish this. Alrighty. Uh, it is a building. Yes, I agree. Publish. And yep. Cool, I'm all done here. Great. Well then, I'm done. It's going to take me to my map and show me where it is, but I don't really, so I'm going to cancel that. So yeah, down here, I see all my stuff that I've built, and at the far end, there it is. Alrighty, so I'm going to sign off now. This is uh, Kiwi Kid, and if you have any recommendations, this for buildings that you want me to create, link it in the description below and add a comment. Thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe.